Welcome to the Bentley Systems training course where you will learn how to generate wind loads in RAM frame according to the ASE 7 main wind force resisting system. This procedure will be a two-step process. We're first going to review our wind exposure, then we will generate our wind loads. To specify your wind exposure, go to the main menu, select loads, followed by exposure. First, we're going to see our building extents. Now, RAM frame can automatically calculate the horizontal building extents in each direction, or you may specify your own values. You can toggle between those two options by saying use calculated values or use specified values. For this example, we're going to go ahead and use the calculated values, again, which are being determined by how I laid out my slab edges in my structure. Next, you can also enter a parapet at the top level of your building or if a building steps wherever there is no diaphragm located above it. Finally, you can enter your exposure. The default for this is to say full exposure or you can toggle this to none. If one of your floors other than your top floor are set to none, then the building heights or the wind loads that would have been at those levels will be distributed to the level above and below. Now for this particular model, we're going to keep all the default values and then click OK. We are now ready to move on to the second step in our workflow, which is to generate our wind load cases. To do that, we can go up to the main menu, select loads, followed by load cases. Now we're specifically taking a look at wind in this particular video. So select the wind radio button and enter a label. I'm gonna call mine wind, main wind force resisting system. And I'm going to select the appropriate code to generate those wind loads. Here, I'm gonna select the ASE 716 and click on the add button. Now RAM frame can generate your wind loads for you considering the variables that will be required according to the ASE 716 main wind force resisting system. Specifically, we will be using chapter 27 for the directional procedure. Here I'm going to tell the program to generate wind loads in both the X and Y direction. These are my horizontal directions. I'm going to enter my mean roof height information. I'm going to enter my topographic information, if applicable. I can ask the program to calculate the natural frequency of the structure, and I can apply a directionality factor. Lastly, I'm going to enter my basic wind speed. Now I should coordinate all these variables with the design standard considering the location of my structure. In addition, I have this option here to generate additional load cases for analysis with tension-only members. Our model does not contain any tension-only members, so I'll leave that checkbox unselected. At this point, let's go ahead and click OK, and we can see that RAM frame has generated my wind load cases. At this point, let's go ahead and click OK. Now, if you wanted more information regarding the calculations of the wind loads, particularly the magnitudes and how they're applied to the structure, you can go ahead and perform an analysis and review those calculations. To review the wind load magnitudes, go to the main menu, select reports, followed by loads and applied forces. All of the calculations for each wind load case will then be provided. Within each load case, you'll be able to see the force that was applied at each diaphragm level and the location. If that particular load case does not consider torsion, then your wind load will be applied at the geometric center of the diaphragm. Otherwise, the torsion will be considered by the placement point. Now at this point, we'll go ahead and close out of that report, click Save, 
And this concludes our process for generating wind loads according to the ASE 716 main wind force resisting system within RAM frame. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.